My name is Kyrie Henderson, and I'm a systems application engineer here at DTS. And today, I'd like to introduce you to our newest product, the DDR. The DDR is a standalone shock and vibration recorder, originally developed to be embedded in mouthpieces. The DDR is configured on a PCB flex circuit and can conform to virtually any surface. Bluetooth communications and wireless inductive charging makes this one of our most innovative products. Each DDR comes with a wireless inductive charging coil, flash memory, magnet switch, light sensor, microprocessor, triaxial linear accelerometer, triaxial angular accelerometer, and battery. You'll need a charging case for your DDR unit, which will allow for communication to a PC via USB, inductive charging between the charger and the DDR unit, and Bluetooth communication between the charger and DDR. Each of our DDRs is run through a rigorous calibration process on CAL machines that we designed in-house. This will make sure that you get the best sensitivity when it comes to your linear and angular accelerometers. Now, in order to set up your DDR, you'll need the DDR control software, which I have up for you here. Uh, and that will show you the, the serial number of the DDR that you are uh, connected to, the charge capacity. Um, down here, you can set and lock your time, which will be synced to whatever your PC time is. Um, and if we collected any events on this device, they would show up here. You can also click through. I can see real time data from my linear accelerometers and my angular accelerometers. Now let's go ahead and set this device up for our uh, demo here. So I'm going to go up to initialize and this new window that's popped up shows me my sampling rate which is set at 5500 Hertz uh, my recording time which I have at hundred milliseconds or 0.1 seconds my pre-trigger samples which I'm gonna put at let's just take five pre-trigger samples my trigger threshold so these are my linear accelerometers and I'm okay with leaving them all at 5 G's. My trigger window, which I want to set keep low here. My event capacity. Uh, so this is telling me that with the settings that I have so far, I'll be able to collect 207 events. My additional sensors, and it's an activity sensor and light sensor. Uh, I'm going to collect those. And my auxiliary trigger, which I'm not going to use. I also have the option here for session arming, which I am not going to enable, uh, but this feature really tells the DDR that you want it to wake up at a certain date, at a certain time, and self-arm and stay armed for a, a preset amount of time. And during that arming state, it'll be looking for uh, some, some trigger from one of your, your uh, linear accelerometers. Okay, so I think we're good to go. I'm going to click OK. Now that you've set your DDR up via the DDR software, uh, I'm going to run a quick demo here with one of our older calibration rigs, which will replicate a uh, angular motion here and then a linear impact. Let's go ahead and put that there. All right, I'm going to pull it back. Release. Okay, let's check out that data in the software. Okay, now that we've run our demo, let's I've hooked the, uh, the DDR back up. And you'll see that two events have popped up here. So let's go ahead and download those. And download complete. Let's click to review. Find those events. Let's go with this. And you'll see here that our dominant axis was 
uh, the y-axis on our linear accelerometer. Uh, set the range to auto. If I wanted to filter the data, I could come up here and do that. I can zero the data as well. And that is a quick recap of our, our, our data that we've collected. Thank you. DDR could also be used for monitoring head strikes while wearing construction PPE. Take it. Fits that curved surface. If you wanted to monitor heel strikes while a patient was wearing a boots, perhaps, you could just take a DDR, slide it in there like that. There you go. A DDR is also flexible enough to fit inside of a pill bottle. If you ever wanted to detract the pharmaceutical manufacturing process. The DDR can be used for monitoring high asset value packages.